Let's have a look at uh, getting your Minecraft EDU server running. So first of all, from the Minecraft launcher, you want to start the Minecraft EDU server launcher, which is here. Actually, before that even, uh, check the mods and see which mods you want to have enabled. And remember that uh, the mods enabled on the server need to be the same as the mods on all of the clients. So mods is, of course, the modifications. So we are going to start a new server. We can use the tutorial world, create a new world, or if you've got some saved worlds uh, or ones from the world library, feel free to play with those. We're going to create a new world, just a random one. A uh, completely flat world might be interesting for having students just build structures, something like that, we'll see. But let's just do a regular random world, structures and animals, sure that will start up here and it's going there's the IP address of my local computer if other uh, computers were on this network running the client they could connect to that IP address uh, of course anybody who's not on this network can't uh, so you'd have to either well figure that out in, if you're in a classroom though everybody should be on the same network and you can have all of the same changes that you can do from when you're logged in as a teacher to the mine on a Minecraft EDU server. We can turn on whatever we want here. We can give things to players, uh, including assignments. And uh, in the advanced settings, this is what you might want to have just displayed up because this will show you the players that are connected and if there are any issues that are happening, it'll also any uh, chat things that the students say will come up uh, in here as well and so you let the server run hopefully on a good enough machine that all of your students can connect to it and when you're done uh, you type a name for the map and save it and uh, uh, you can look up where that saves on your particular machine but uh, that's what you want to keep a copy of for next time that you're going to run the server so that's what we need to do for uh, yeah, we'll quit and that'll stop the server. That's what we need to do for starting your own Minecraft EDU server.